Hey y'all, what's up? What time is it? Well, it's time to get out the box. Isn't it funny? I don't mean funny in a ha-ha or he-he way, but like in a tripping way. Like you looking around trying to figure out what's going on. What in the confound is going on here? I know you joking. No, 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 this can't be God. Well, a lot of times, the ones that could care less about talking, being up front, being seen in a crowd, you know, that has a specific task or a specific job to do, are the ones that God has called, that God has chosen. There are the, they are the ones, a lot of times, he has set his seal of approval upon, and can't nobody do nothing about it. No matter how hard they try. It's time for us to get out the box because we've been stuck for too long. Just because a person does not do things like you think they are supposed to be doing doesn't mean that it's not God. We need to stop. We need to get it together because we have been in this predicament for a long time. And you know, a lot of times the ones... He hasn't called or chosen. You know, they ready. They ready to go get it. They ready to be seen. I mean, they love to be seen. They love to be out in the front, in the forefront. They love a crowd. But I tell you what, God is something else. A lot of times, his ways are past finding out. And no matter how hard you try, you're not going to be able to find out all the ways of God. You just have to learn how to go with the flow. I'm talking about myself also when I say you. I'm not just talking about specific individuals, but I'm talking about myself also. It's time to get up out of the box. Get out the box, girl. Get out the box, boy. Get out the box, man. Get out the box, woman. Get up. It's time to get out of the box. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26 through 28 states, My dear friends, remember what you were when God chose you. The people of this world didn't think that many of you were wise. Only a few of you were in places of power, and not many of you came from important families. Isn't that the truth? We need to think, we need to get out of the box. Have we forgotten where we came from? Have we forgotten about the little shite, the little house that we used to stay in? Have we forgotten about when we didn't have any clothes or we didn't have any shoes to wear? And now we're so important. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. So he goes on to say, but God chose the foolish things of this world to put the wise to shame. He chose the weak things of this world to put the powerful to shame. What the world think, thinks is worthless, useless, and nothing at all is what God has used to destroy what the world consider important. God did all this to keep anyone from bragging to him isn't that something it broke it right on down to the nitty-gritty that's the contemporary english version and that's how we are we forget we want to look down on people because of the way they look and how they dress and how they speak and where they live at and what type of job they may be working on. We need to get out of the box because every talent, every gift, everything is important in the eyesight of God. It's time to get up out of the box. I think about Moses. Remember, Moses thought he was somebody important. You know, he was raised, raised as an Egyptian. But when he found out who he really was, he was the scum of the earth. He was a nobody in the eyesight of man. 
You know, man don't see things like God see things. And then think about David. David was out there taking care of his father, sheep. Who know that he will become king over all Israel? And think about Abraham. Abraham, he was a heathen. You know, he was um uh idol worshiper until God revealed himself unto him, and he became the father of many nations. Think about Paul. Paul was a highly smart, intelligent man. He spoke seven languages, but he had to be knocked to the ground. You know, he was Mr. Big Stuff, and that's how we are a lot of times. We miss the big stuff, miss big stuff. Can't nobody tell us nothing because we have arrived. It's time to get out of the box. So who are we to say what a person can and cannot do? Huh? Who made us Lord? Well, anyways, my mind go back to the year of 94. I had just graduated from nursing school, and I was asked to be on the nurses committee for the year of 94 and 95. Now this was something that they had just started right after I had finished nursing school. Lord have mercy. My mind wasn't even trying to comprehend that because I wasn't even interested in it whatsoever. I just wanted to go on about my business and leave all that stuff behind because it was a mess in the land, I tell you. I just did not want no parts of it. But hey, who am I? Somebody better come and get me. They better come and get me right now. You know, he be trying to help us. He be trying to give us things. I'm talking about God. And you know, we be tripping a lot of us. We want to run away from it. You know, we do have runners. But anyway, it's time for us to get out of the box. And so it it came a time when I had to go to a meeting. And, Lord, we were having a dinner for the nurses committee. I did not want to go. But I went. I had to go. I didn't have no other choice but to go since I was on the committee. And, you know, I like to be responsible and do what I'm supposed to do. But the thing is, I didn't realize how important it was how big of an event it was. And Lord, the Lord had me sitting amongst the dignities, amongst the dignified. But you know what? My mind goes back to what this lady used to say. The higher uppers, the higher uppers. And she would be pointing her finger up. And I would be looking at her like, what? You tripping? What you talking about? That's what I would say in my mind. Because I never heard it put like that before. I mean, there was doctors and lawyers and teachers and principal, all types of people. And little old me, here I am. Oh, the Lord choose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. God is an awesome God. It's time for us to get out of the box. But catch this. Lord have mercy. It was one of my old neighbors. That was there. And you know we all were sitting at the table. Getting ready to eat our supper. And she just happened to look down. And guess who she see? She saw me. Oh little me. And she said. Joanne. Is that you? I said yeah. It's me. And I just kind of chuckled. Like we are a mess. Even being saved or Christians or whatever you want to call it, especially when we have been in it for years, we shouldn't even be tripping like we be tripping. I'm telling you, it's time to get out of the box. Girl, boy, man, woman, it's time for you to get out of the box. It's time for us to get out of the box. We better catch it. All right, that's all I have for now. Peace.